Hello, uh, this is David Bamlo again. This is week two of our class on uh, CIS 240L, Linux Systems Administration. And uh, I'm running a little late here. I'm just getting started with the videos. Um, I guess a lot of them will get done tomorrow. Sorry about that. But um, I want to get started just with an overview of the week. Um, you'll have lab three due this week um, and uh, chapter three. The main thing about this chapter is that I want you to review the Linux command line and uh, just get used to using the command line as best you can. Um, it will vary, the assignment will vary a little bit depending on your background and how familiar you, you are with the command line. If you feel really comfortable with it, um, well, explore the file system a little bit and then go on and explore some um, Linux applications, um, especially some things you don't know. Um, most people, I think, are not that familiar with the command line. Um, actually, I think all of us can learn more command line stuff. And um, so, uh, for most people, you should poke around the command line. You can either do the exercises at the back of Chapter 3, or you can um, just sort of poke around on your own, uh, create some um, trees using command lines, or delete the trees, move the trees. Well, you'd better move them before you delete them, or copy the trees using the CP command with whatever options you need, whatever flags you need, and just get a little used to exploring things. Um, we'll go into that in detail or in more detail in some of the videos. Uh, let me talk about a few things I'd like to talk about um, as preliminaries before going into that in the next video. Um, the first thing you should look at Caligator.org and review the weekly calendar for this week. Um, there's a North, Coders Port uh, North Portland Coders Night. There's um, a Ruby Brigade. There's a public lecture on uh, public um, grid network or on um, um, smart grid. Uh, um, basically green electricity. Um, I know on Friday, I, I have not put this into the schedule yet, but there will be a plug meeting on uh, Thursday evening. I, <laughs> I'm still desperately looking for a speaker, or maybe not so desperate. That's why I don't have a speaker. Oh, there's something called the glass plate game. That's sort of an interesting thing. It's um, was invented by a friend of mine, uh, Dunbar Atkins from uh, Corvallis. Um, okay, back to our list of items here. Um, the other thing I want to mention just a little bit about how you get involved in the open source community and sort of how people get jobs in the open source community. Um, most of my friends, do work in open source, but they did not go through traditional channels at all in getting their jobs. Uh, or maybe they went through more typical channels, just not the official ones. Um, th they basically get started by fiddling around a lot. Uh, some of them have degrees in, I don't know, nuclear physics and um, geology, and some of them don't have any degrees. Um, well, one gentleman I hired had not yet finish, finished high school when I hired him, as I recall. He now has a college degree from an Austra uh, from a Australian university. Um, people come from all sorts of different backgrounds. They get their experience by just doing things, creating software, sometimes not creating software, but learning how to use it, and then giving talks at 
of two organizations like the Portland Linux Unix Group, um, at conferences like OSCON um, or Linux Fest Northwest or SCALE, which is a conference in Los, uh, uh, Southern California in Los Angeles. Um, some people, you know, write books, write soft, um, software, write websites, just simply start a website or a blog on software. Um, another way to get exposure is by uh, doing volunteer work. There's always people looking for volunteers, to, um, schools, various other organizations looking for volunteers to um, get involved in open source software or help them with software. Um, I worry mostly about open source. As a, an example, I have a friend who got laid off by um, U.S. Bank when they merged to become the big U.S. bank and move their operations from Portland to um, Minneapolis. And he started volunteering for Riverdale High School or Riverdale School District. And people got to know him and he actually spent quite a bit of time volunteering there. But in the end, he was offered a position as um, a Unix sysadmin at um, Multnomah County ESD, which he's worked at for oh quite a few years now. Um, so uh, that's just um, I just um, want to point out the value of getting involved in the open source community. It's a funny thing because most of us, you know, don't get involved like we're looking for jobs. Um, but jobs tend to happen. Um, I mean, I, I think that's the way a lot of jobs work out. Um, when you're looking for jobs, you can't find them. When you're just involved in things, they appear. Um, in any case, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how to become more involved in the community. Um, I think that's everything I have to say as a preliminary to our chapter. I will then do a video on um, chapter three on um, exploring the Linux file system and on command line stuff. Uh, goodbye. Good night. Um, it's Monday night now. I'm not going to start the next video until tomorrow morning. So this will be a little bit late, but oh well. Bye-bye.